When it comes to West Coast fly fishing on the Pacific, I think Catalina Island's probably the best place. I'm Captain Vaughan Podmore, grew up in South Africa, been here in the United States for 32 years. Live in Huntington Beach, Southern California. I fly fish for a living. I've been doing it now for 24 years. Full time for the past 14 years. It's a passion of mine, I love it. Hopefully you carry it to my grave. Getting up at 3, 3.30 in the morning. Make it down to the ramp, launch the boat. Hopefully bring that uh, horseshoe with me. It's a lot of luck, no bananas on the boat. Get chum, by the time we make it to Catalina Island, it is probably 7, 7.15 in the morning. Catalina Island is a desert out in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. I think it's the oasis of fly fishing in Southern California, Catalina Island. Mostly targeted are yellowtail, barracuda, bonita, which is a great fly rod fish. Just about everything will eat the fly, especially the calico bass. You'll catch 50, 60 calico bass, and you know, you're waiting for that right one. With those pelagic fish, there's yellowfin and bluefin, dorado and marlin mixed in those. You're lucky to land a big fish, period, on a fly rod. I think there's a lot of things that can go wrong. Obviously, the seals, abundance of seals. Here comes the seal. I think all the stars have to align pretty damn good to catch a big fish. Um, you have the bonita, and the bonita itself is built for the fly rod. Extremely powerful. You will see your backing on a bonita. I think the, the bonita gets you ready for that next step in big game fishing. It pulls, it will break a 12 weight rod, no problem. That will definitely break your heart. It's a perfect fly rod fish. They fight hard. If you choose to eat one, they eat great. And then back at home, uh, you know, I mean, I tie hundreds and hundreds of flies every year. I've been fortunate enough to be introduced to Loon Tools. They've made my tying especially easier. And then just a durability, I'm just waiting for the day that they die, but they haven't yet. They've been pretty damn good. I'm stoked on them.
catching tons of bonita, calico bass, a couple of barracuda, they all have teeth. All in all, just super durable. Um, I've had a few clients over the past year tell me they are amazed at how the flies stand up. I tie 99.9% .9 of my flies. I've never had a problem with any of your tools. I think all around just a great job.